the great Grant Taft. What a day. The Grant Taft Foundation, beyond the Game Award and part of the Texas Sports Hall of Fame. You have been honored for many things. You have a statue. You have things named after you. What does this mean to you today? Well, it's very important, Smoke, because this is giving to someone else. In other words, it's taking uh, whatever I've accomplished and people recognize that and raising money that will go to help others. And that's what I like about the whole thing. You've always been more than the 1974, 1980 Southwest Conference Championships. You've been more than that. Uh, to look back on all of what you've done, just how you've contributed to the game, to football, to young men, and so many others, what does that mean to you? Well, you know, Smoke, it means everything because uh, football uh, was uh, very important in my life. I had a wonderful family, hardworking, and they taught me so much. But the game of football and my coaches uh, taught me so very much that I decided that this is what I want to do and share that with other young people. So I've spent my life doing that. And then uh, in administration, even when you're not coaching or teaching, uh, in administration, you can direct a lot of things. You're involved in rule decisions and those types of things. So uh, I've really enjoyed trying to give back to my sport, and that's the game of football. What are your thoughts on Baylor football? They've made the decision. Coach Aranda's coming back for at least another year. Uh, the patience shown and yet also the urgency in this day and age of college athletics that you cannot be left behind. Well, that's so true. And uh, I am so very glad that uh, Coach Aranda is coming back. I have a lot of respect for him. And uh, I expect them to make a big jump this next year. I think they'll be uh, much better than they've been. And uh, if so, uh, the program will continue and get stronger, you know. But it's important that they have a good year this next year. They're going to change some things up. You know college athletics. They have NIL, which, you know, back in the day, most of that was under the table. Uh, they have the transfer portal, which that was never there before. The, 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 the race for facilities. And, of course, you were there back when the weight room was a closet. Do you like the way the trend of the game today? Well, you know, I, I, I have a hard time answering that, Smoke, because, you know, it's, it's a different time and things are dealing, uh, coaches and players are dealing with different issues. You know, we have a society that these young people are growing up in that if they don't get under somebody that can give them good, solid directions in their life, not just in football, then, uh, you know, we, we got a lot of problems to deal with. And so I love our coaches, uh, you know, across the nation uh, on all levels. I, I have a good relationship with every group out there, and I'm, it's intentional. I wanted to do that. And then uh, the other thing is that the game is still the great teacher. You know, it hadn't changed. You get out there on that football field and somebody lines up in front of you and knocks the doodly wah out of you. You know, you, you, you learn to either uh, run and hide or fight back. You've played it. You've coached it. You were an athletic director. You also ran the AFCA for years. Yes. Uh, could you see this coming eventually that it was going to open up into what college football and athletics is now? Uh, you know, I, I'd like to say, yeah, I could see it coming. But, you know, you got your nose to the grindstone, and you're, you're dealing with the issues that come up then, and there are always issues, you know, mm -hmm. that come up particularly with the coaches and, and trying to make the rules right for the players. Uh, it, it was a great job, but it was a full-time job because it was always uh, something. Rosanna, Rosanna yeah. made that famous. Mac Rhodes has made this decision I brought up. Uh, a lot of places they would have moved on and found somebody else and spent more money. 
What does it say about his patience? Although if it doesn't work, then obviously it could end up costing Baylor two or three more years. But him being patient in this moment, you've been an AD. You've had to do that yourself. Well, absolutely. I, I just think the world of Mac Rhodes and uh, I totally adhere to his decision. Uh, you know, I think he made the right decision. I stand behind him on it. And also, you know, I think we've got a good coaching staff. Uh, you know, I think if there's a weakness somewhere, uh, I have ever a confidence that the head coach will take care of that, which he has to do. That's his job. But I don't know that there's a weakness. It just may be that they need to be stronger. You've been to the games. You have your suite. You watch them play. Has it been tough this year to watch how much of a struggle it's been? Well, well, yeah, you know, <laughs> smoke, uh, you know, it's, it is tough and it hurts like heck, you know, and, uh, but, but again, you know, I've been there, done that. And I, I know that there, there's a good coach will make the changes that need to be made. And I think we got a good coach. So let's see what he does. What a day for you, huh? And the family. Yeah, it's very nice. People are so nice. And I, I was not expecting this, uh, you know. It just sort of bloomed up. And uh, But it's always so wonderful for me to see friends like you and for you to come out to attend this and make news out of it that's pretty uh, pretty special <laughs> but we uh we love you buddy and and we look forward to many more get together absolutely it's the grant tap foundation beyond the game award partnered with the texas sports hall of fame the great grant tap 365 sports this is 365 sports